toxic chemicals in consumer products are, are a big problem. The, the problem in the United States is that for years and years and years, new chemicals have been given a free pass. A company develops a new chemical, puts it into a product, brings it to market. The, under U.S. law, the chemical has been presumed to be safe. It's just automatically assumed to be safe and allowed to come into products. That's a very dangerous approach. You wouldn't buy a car that way. You wouldn't buy a new house that way. You'd check it out. You'd do some evaluation. But we don't evaluate new chemicals before they come to market. They just come to market. And unfortunately, time and time again, we have found that new chemicals that were brought to market with great enthusiasm, lots of fanfare, turned out to be very dangerous to children. There have been pesticides that cause brain damage to children. Industrial chemicals like polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, now contaminate rivers and lakes all across North America, and if they get into fish, they can cause brain damage to children. Some new medications like thalidomide have been brought to market with great fanfare and were found to cause birth defects in children. So the upshot of all this is that we really need a much better, more intelligent, smarter system in this country for assessing chemicals, evaluating them, before we bring them to market. In 2016, the U.S. Congress got together, passed bipartisan legislation called the Lautenberg Chemical Safety Act for the 21st century, named after the late Senator Frank Lautenberg. And this legislation actually requires that new chemicals be evaluated before they come to market, and it also requires that chemicals already on the market be assessed very carefully to see if they're causing harm to children and other people. This is, this is the way to go. It's what needs to be done. In Europe, they have been doing a much better job than the United States of regulating chemicals. They passed strong chemical safety legislation in the year 2007. It goes by the name of REACH. It requires that chemicals be tested before they come to market, and the level of testing depends on the use. Chemicals that come in close contact with children need to get tested more carefully than other chemicals. It, and it seems to be working. A byproduct, though, an unfortunate byproduct of the European legislation is that chemical products that are no longer allowed to be used in Europe are now being sold under the same brand names in the United States. In other words, multinationals are dumping chemical products in the USA that they can no longer sell overseas. And that's a function of our weak legislation in this country. So we, we're doing okay in this country, but we really need to do better.